Hey guys, Josh here. Retail Mageddon continues. Yesterday, some big news about some retailers. So, Asina Retail Group, which owns Ann Taylor, Lane Bryant, Loft, Dress Barn, Maurice's, Catherine's, Justice, uh, a few other brands, I think are, that's probably most of them. They have about 4,800 stores in their portfolio. They announced that they're closing up to 667 stores this year, or sorry, over the next two years. Uh, 250 are for sure being closed down. Another 400 or so stores, um, they're trying to renegotiate their mall leases. And if they can't get those things worked out, then they're gonna close those down as well. So, um, but not only on top of that, right, this company, they, let me just look, pull up the numbers here. They have a, uh, their assets, let's see, they fell 9.6 million, uh, or five cents a share from 30 million, um, which used to be 15 cents a share a year earlier. So they've, they've had a big dip in that. Um, here's the thing that's crazy though. Sales dropped 6%. You know, that's kind of, we're seeing that across the board, sales in the kind of like that single digits frame uh, rate is, uh, are dropping. but. They had a 1.3 billion non-cash charge to write down the value of their current assets. So something crazy is happening internally there. Um, their accounting seems to be pretty squirrely. So um, they're struggling big time. And I don't think we're gonna see the end of that because truly, you know, they have some cool clothes, but really what, what are some of their brands really bringing to the market that's unique, different, fun, exciting, uh, not much. It's just it's just stuff they import over from overseas and and uh, and sell for um, a markup. So not a ton of value being created where all that stuff can be bought elsewhere, cheaper prices, and online. So here's what the executive said. The CEO said he blames the declines on an extremely competitive market environment that included persistent declines in store traffic and intense promotional activity. That just means that they didn't have the right uh, people looking at a digital strategy for their company in the right way. They, they didn't foresee the downturn of, of store traffic in the malls, so they missed it. They missed this opportunity, and that's happening. Um, so we're, we're, we're gonna see, I think, a bit more than 667 is my prediction on the Cena Group until they get things figured out. My girls love the loft, like they love it. They just love this clothes, they like how they feel. And you know, we shop there occasionally, but you know, it's not like we complete our, their entire wardrobe and loft, it's one or two pieces here and there. So they, they just haven't been relevant enough just for me anecdotally, for my family. But another, another big news, Jim Barry filed for bankruptcy protection on Monday. They've got 1,281 stores, and it's up in the air what's gonna happen with the Jim Barry um, stores. But again, a complete miss on this company as well and figuring out how to react and respond to the consumer behavior, especially when it comes to children's apparel and children's clothing and, and how um, those who buy children's clothing, how they spend their time using mobile and uh, digital means. So. Uh, more to come on this. This Retail Mageddon 2017 is taking them out one by one. It's changing. This is, this is a, a huge wake-up call for the entire industry, but at the same time, massive opportunity for companies that have something unique to bring to this market, and they're doing it in ways that, uh, that are, are competitive and are fun and, uh, and really find ways to engage with us. So. You know, we, we see companies like uh, like Proper Cloth who are charging, you know, quite a bit for one shirt, but they're making it a very unique experience it's with 27 different metrics that measure uh, your shirt to have a perfect fit um, for your for those consumers. You also got Mod Cloth, which has the, the fit and ship model within their stores where they're, you can go in and try on things and find the right size, but then, um, then you have things shipped to you. And of course they were acquired by, um, by Jet and Walmart uh, because of their their uh, their equity and their brand is, is doing really well. So <clears throat> we're going to see more of these. Um, you know, we we're, we're going to see a lot of the traditional retailers continue to, to file for bankruptcy and close stores. 
you know, unless they have a really, really tight private label and they, uh, they have their distribution channels down, they're offering something that's competitively priced or they're super unique on the fashion apparel side where, uh, you know, this downturn is not going to impact them whatsoever, then they're safe. But, you know, we're going to see more of those. Um, what brands do you think are next to file, file suit for this? And then what brands do you think have the potential to take advantage of this uh, vacuum that's being created in the market by these retailers that are underserving the client base. So I want to hear for your thoughts on this. So I look forward to it.